Triple time. Mr. Ross. Mr. Emmett. So I did ourselves a favor. Okay. Water's heated. Water's heated, wow. Put it in last night. Warm. Pro move. Pro move. Pro move. Triple is uh, my my sweetie pies, my girlfriend's favorite style of beer. Okay. Here. And when we first met each other, uh, she told me a little saying about triples. Uh, drinking triple, seeing double, feeling single. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, you it's know, great is, is uh-huh. So that was, she's your girlfriend. She, well, she, it was a pickup line and it worked That's on me. That's awesome. Um, so, it's party beer. Um, triples are sort of traditional Belgian golden ales. Uh, the Trappist Monastery, specifically West Mall, is very famous uh, for their triple. Okay. Um, they do like two beers. They do a double and a triple. So usually they kind of sort of the rule with three. It's like a single Patters beer will be like 3% alcohol by volume. Gotcha. A double will be around like six and then a triple will be nine to ten. north of nine. Okay. Yeah. It's, you know, for special occasions. Like, okay. you save those triples, you're having that high ABV hooch, you're feeling good, you're letting your hair down. So, I found a recipe in Craft Beer and Brewing. Cool. And the recipe is Vickers Triple Triple Recipe. All right. So basically, I just adjusted his recipe, to, like for efficiencies for our system. Mm -hmm. Wanted to make a yeast starter for this, because mm -hmm. it's such a big beer. Yeah. Went to the homebrew shop the other day, did not have the yeast we needed. Right. They ordered it. It's got a phone call, it's in now. Cool. And then from here, I'm kind of gonna let Ross handle this brew day because yeah. he's the triple master. Apparently. Okay, let's uh, mill this grain. Heck Wanna? Yeah. Boom. And we're using Dingman's, uh, <laughs> which is. She, she, boo, boo. Yeah. Get that the good high stuff. end. Oh, it's delicious. That is nice. Oh, yeah. You pour egg grind? Perfect. Okay. We are definitely uh, milling above our pay grade yeah. here. Dingman for the win. All here right, here we go. This what if I nice. drop this whole bag? Ooh, no. That's a lot of malt. Dingman dust, baby. The Dingman dust. There's a lot of grain. There's a lot of grain. No. Insane in the mem grain. Mmm. Swing around the brass bowl a couple of times. This is how things explode. So you get a bunch of malt dust in the air. And it's, you know, achieves a density in a controlled environment. Just particulate in the atmosphere. Trapped. You know, somebody like drops a bucket on a piece of metal or lights a smoke and boom, the backside of your building blows out. It's for real. Isn't Malt that... dust, highly combustible. Jazz hands it. Jazz hands. Let's do it. All right. We got grain. We got water. Slam that all the way to the penthouse here. Dude, plenty of room. Yeah. Look at that double loss. Awesome. That's tasty. It's a it's tasty dry little tater. Inside. Yeah. If you don't want it. No. Oh yeah, it looks good. I think it looks great, man. Heck yeah. I'm just glad it all fits. I am too. That's pretty good though. 14 pounds of grain and like eight gallons of water. And it all fits. It all fits. It all fits. They all float. Set these pumps up, wanna? Yeah, man. Let's do it. I'll let you do that. Cool. So we're going kettle out, pump in, pump out, kettle in, ball valve open, pump on. So Ross, pH. 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 We are at 5.6. Okay. What are we shooting for? Oh, uh, let's shoot for like 5.6. Two to 5.3. 5.8 milliliters of lactic acid. This was like in the struble painter. There we go. Ooh. How long you wanna give it like a couple minutes to sort of get in there? 
All right. Well, let's let's fill her back up, man. Uh -huh. I feel good. There it is. Five point two seven. Damn. Bingo. Ooh. Oh. 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 Yep. Yeah. Five point two six. How's she looking? Oh, real nice. Delightful. Gorgeous. All right. So, Ross, here's the conundrum. What is the conundrum? I gotta run to the homebrew shop. Okay. So we can we can actually have some yeast to make beer with. Cool. I have, um, I have the timer set. It was It's a 90 minute mash. 90 minutes. As you said earlier. We probably had the pH adjusted within eight to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be a little bit longer brew day, but it's just more hanging out and time yeah. to drink beer or whatever, so. Totally. Do you and Ross wanna go to the beer shop and pick up the beer? So we're gonna head down to Tasty Beverage on the South Slope uh, and pick up a couple of triples just to have something to compare uh, today's triple against. We're looking specifically for a West Mall triple, kind of the gold standard. Uh, really the one that started it all. Buckle the safety belt, make your mother proud. I hope they're open. <laughs> I mean, it's not even noon yet on a Thursday, so we'll see. Um, although this is Asheville, so. What are you doing, fella? You just staggering across the road with a 40 full of hooch heading over to the stab and grab the hot spot here. <laughs> you want to get into a little trouble on a Thursday afternoon in Asheville, you head on down to the hot spot. Market for a couple of Belgian triples. Right on. In bottles. Very uh, Oh, yeah. Dulatepe is probably my favorite triple. Okay. It goes through a cool shit like all their beers do, even though it gets inoculated with brewer's yeast. But really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we have some Allagash triple. Oh, really? Well, I mean, it'd be a shame to not get a four pack since you <laughs> offer them. This is what I'm talking about here. Three days are long. Yeah. You gotta Three have some beer. Have a couple. <laughs> cool. Thanks again. Yeah, right on, bro. Good to see you. You too, man. Later on. Later. This was a success. This turned out better than I could have hoped. Allegash, baby. It was like it was meant to be. Where are your seed belts? We're gonna go to New Belgium Brewing, which is just down the way here. We're gonna add one more to the fridge. Why not? This is this is sort of the the triple that I'm most familiar with, um, and I'm uh, I'm a big fan of uh, the triple Mosa with this triple. So we've got triple and a small flagon of orange juice. Okay, so we're gonna. Put together a beer mosa here I'm using some triple and a little oj the beer mosa is uh, a beautiful thing you take a 12 ounce bottle of beer and you pop the top and you pour it in a glass and then you take your oj and you just sort of top that right off there like four-fifths beer, one-fifth orange juice. If you, you go out a little too hard in the paint on a Friday or Saturday evening and are crudo at brunch the next morning, the beer mosa will put you right back in the saddle. You have one of these right around noon, right around now, and uh, you're sitting pretty for the rest of the day. So, uh, skull, pressed, cheers. Yeah, that's beer. Um, yeah. Damn it. So I got the goods. Got the goods. I see you got the goods. Two packs of yeast. Yeah, I'm about a triple most of deep right now. Nice. It feels good, man. So we got the WLP 530. Right on. Super fresh. Right on. Um, we only got two. 
It's okay. Two's all you need, man. We're just gonna aerate the heck yeah. out of it. Yeah. So what's the next step, Ross? Well, some will call it loudering. Yep. We're gonna uh, turn this pump off and pull this basket up and let it drain. I'm gonna give it the old clean and jerk here. Um, hot days for you. For me? Are you sure? Is it that hot? Safety first. Safety first. Or third. Safety third. <laughs> um, pump off. Pop the top. Pop the top. Set that. I'll close the ball valve close here. Close the valve, also important. Okay, are we ready? Hooky, hooky. You know, I feel not like you got yet. the height. I, I do. It's uh, got the angle yeah. for the dangle mm -hmm. here. While this is dripping, yeah, probably crank the controller up to 100. percent Just smart. Just so. Just to be prepped. Yeah, because the 120 takes a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. This mash out you know, like so. Perfect. What's our number? Well, seven and a half. Yeah, buddy. No, Where's seven and a quarter. Seven. This is saying we just have seven, so we're a little bit over. In preparation for our hop edition, mm -hmm. we're gonna put the hop basket in right now. It's also gonna let us crack the lid on the, uh, the kettle here. There, here we go. It's good. Can it's we good. drink some beers now? It's good. Let's drink some yeah, beers. Yeah, So why did you want to do a triple today? Well, uh, these are party beers. Gotcha. Um, and we are throwing a party coming up. The homies Dave and Cassie are getting married, and my thought was we could serve this party beer at their wedding. Um, that's what you that's what you brew a triple for, gotcha. sort of traditionally. A celebration. Gotcha. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Be a bunch of hammered people. Mm-hmm. But I guess it's better than drinking whiskey at the yeah, end of the day. So. Totally. Alarms off for our boy. Ah. Which is good because we're a couple beers deep. Mm -hmm. it's good to have the it's reminder. Good reminder. We're making beer, not just drinking. Right. So this is a 90 minute. -er. Excellent. The first 30 minutes of this boil are just going to be Sugar. some of that sweet, sweet candy syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, did I not get enough? I was supposed, I was supposed to get sure. two and a half. So I, I done screwed up. And it. It's still going to be beer. One thing I like to do when I'm adding syrups is mm. just turn the heating element off. Smart. Just so it doesn't scorch while mm -hmm. you're adding it, and then we'll just fire it back up. So if you just hit the old heat button. Hit the heat button. Um, here, I'll pull the top. Oh, yours was a lot more gummy than mine. Yeah. Mine's like a tube of toothpaste. Yeah. I wonder if yours is just, just a little bit older, warm, maybe, or didn't warm up. Didn't warm up didn't as much. Fully. It's kind of crystallized a little bit. You calling that good? I'm calling that good. So we did two pounds. We're gonna bring this back up to a boil. 90 minute boil total. We're gonna boil for 30 minutes, and then with 60 minutes left, we're gonna do our first hop addition. Cool. If that makes sense. That, that does make sense. Okay. Let's set some alarms. Let's yeah, set some alarms. I'm gonna set it to 35, um, just because it has to come back up to 10 from us turning it off and adding the syrup, so. Mm -hmm. uh, let's drink another beer. Good story. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh crap, where are we at, time-wise? Oh, oh, three minutes. Oh, our minutes. Okay, Dude, look how, minutes. look how that worked out. I gotta pee after you. Steering goals. Woo! Couple of four triples, baby. Fucking oh, Christ. <laughs> All right, Ross. Yeah, bro. We're getting there. Let's do it. All right. Couple I'm already there. I'm, yeah, likewise. We feel pretty good. <laughs> so we're 30 minutes into the 90-minute boil. Party, time for a top, uh, hop edition? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we hopping with? We're hopping it with Styrian from Goldings. Hey -o. An ounce? Yep. At one ounce, one whole ounce. And it's super low yeah. alpha acids. Nice. So I it's 1.8% on these, I believe. Oh. The whole ounce, baby. And this is nice, we don't have to measure. But. This is nice, you know? Drink and triple, just take that sort of blunt force approach to your first top edition. Just throw her in. Mm -hmm. You can grab uh, a half ounce of Nelson Savine hops out of the fridge here. Um, this is our second, and I believe last hop edition. Yes, sir. Mm. 
We're gonna put our hops in the hopper. The hop. So. Clarity, we learned. Clarity, very important with the triple. Uh, right in here? Yeah, I mean, let's go outside the box. There she goes. Yeah, we're good. Timer okay, just went time. off. We're good. Our 90 minute boil's over, and we've begun chilling. Uh, we've hooked everything up and are heat transferring our wort down to fermentation, well, pitching temperature, really. Healthy stream, hearty, full body. It smells good. It smells great. Doing a little aeration. Oh yeah. I think that's the key to success today. We're probably under pitching a bit because we didn't make a starter. You want to get crazy? Yeah. Go straight in and then I'll. Oh yeah. Out. We'll do a maneuver. We'll you ready? Go here and then down to you here. Got, you gotta be a pro. Okay. This is either gonna be the best idea in the world. This is a great idea. I don't this know is what happens it. when triples happen. This couldn't possibly go wrong. No. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Bucket party. Heck yeah. Tandemonium. There it is. Yeah. Get some. Yeah, some keep, keep that going. So, this is yeast from White Laboratories. It's gonna be like a hearty strain of Belgian style yeast. And we will be fermenting presently. Pump, pump off. Pump off. I'd say she looks good. Yeah, totally. Um, it's a lot of yeast food. Five here. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell with the foam it. I mean, I'd say we're at five and a half. Five and a half. That's what we're looking for. magic trick ever. Oh. No. No. Don't worry, I just start a sand. And that's why we do. Gogurt. Number one. We're fully party. Right. I'm gonna take the lid. <laughs> gonna place it like so. Move this. A little agitation. Boom. Boom. There it is. 90 minute mash, 90 minute boil. Bingo. Four beers, five beers. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, man. So, before we forget. I'm calling it 1076. Seven? Yeah, seven, seven. Seven, seven lucky seven. Let's call it 1077. 1077. Thanks, guys. Hey, yo. What do you want to see us brew next? Your mom? Boom! <laughs>is so on point for the style. Like, you look at the beer in the glass, hey, look at that. It's that sort of honey gold color. A little bit of a haze to it. That like really delicate kind of lacing on top has uh, definitely the correct aroma. That sort of like estery, I mean, Belgian-y flavor. When I, I taste that, I mean, not a great descriptive word, but it's like, ooh, Belgian-y. For me, it's like banana clove. Exactly, yeah. It's that sort of banana bread, kind of spicy, just a little bit of that sort of warming bite to it. Don't really taste the booze, though. Not no. a super, like, booze-heavy tang on it. Not cloying, mm -mm. which is nice. This is going to be added to my brewing repertoire, because... I don't like want to, like, brag. Yeah. But I think we, like, really nailed yes. this style. And this I mean, just based on the sort of examples of triple mm -hmm. that we drank to sort of compare this to. Like this stands up with those, like for real. That's really good. I'm kind of surprised, <laughs> like yeah. pleasantly, but like- It's delicious. Great job, man. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I am mm -hmm. excited that you get to bring this 
I am and too. And like, be like, hey bitches, I've heard this. This is like, this is a party right mm-hmm. here. This is a reason to celebrate. I'm the beer man right now, at the end of the line here. Are you the guy that made the beer? Yeah. We're gonna get the rocket sauce on deck here. Is this Ross's special sauce? Say when. Say when. Bingo. Get a little head on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a triple. Um, I can't. Oh, my God. I had some back at the table and I came to get here. You liked it? That's what mm-hmm. we want to try. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people talking about it, and I gotta try it. All right, tilt it. Here we go. Yeah. It's delicious. I'm glad you like it, man. Yeah. It's very delicious. I'm, thank, you. thank you so much. Uh-huh. Oh, this is classic. You gotta tell there's beet sugar on this. It's very gross. Maybe you know what it reminds me of? You ever had um, Castile? 